Nothing is good enough for you, so you will never be satisfied. Stars will trying to counter his spell, but sadly, Stars world is hit by one of Sombra's attacks. Laying lifeless, Stars world have no more things he can do. Cadence looking at her mom, Crystal looks at herself at her hooves, wavering back and forth, slowly. She cries, and then just flies away. The crystal heart is still in the room. Sombra sees it and gets angry. Oh, all of these crystals. I couldn't see it, but this this is beautiful, the crystal heart beating in the room. Cadence, not knowing what to do, jumps in and tries to take the heart. She defends the heart with all her might, thinking that it's the last part of her mom she will ever see. The king laughs. <laughs> you really think you can defeat me? Cadence looks at Sombra. I love you. The king is surprised. Love? You don't know what that is. Her flank suddenly the crystal heart appears. Her cutie mark, it seems. Cadence cast the wanted, needed spell on King Sombra. You are not my father anymore. Cadence collapses on the floor. King Sombra, being confused, don't know what he's going to do. Ah, uh, I should, I should. He looks at the crystal heart, focusing one last blast. But all of a sudden, Celestia and Luna barge into the window, seeing their teacher laying there. They know that Sombra was the one that killed their teacher. Celestia and Luna now banishes Sombra with the help of the power of the crystal heart. They banish him to the icy cold, the icy cold he once loved to make. The two sisters are sad. They go over to the mentor. Celestia and Luna cries. Cadence Sun still laying lifeless on the floor starts to make some noises. Celestia noticed this immediately and tells her sister, 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 look, the filly, it's still alive. We have to help it. Luna looks surprised. But, but, what, what, what can we do to help her? Celestia looks at her sister. I have to turn her into a alicorn. It's the only way. Look at her wings. Look at her marks. She's burned. She can't move unless I help her. Luna looks away. Oh, sister, is there no other way? We don't know about this filly, Celestia sadly shakes her head and nods to her sister. Luna knows exactly what she is supposed to do. Going into the dreams of the little filly, calming her down for what is going to happen now. Celestia stands over the filly, 
turning her into the alicorn is no easy task. A bright white light shimmers. The crystal heart starts to shake and fall to the ground. It stops beating. Celestia couldn't care. She wants to help the filly, not the crystal heart. That must be for later. Celestia suddenly sees Cadence standing up. Slowly she can stand and see again. Her wings sprout and a horn onto her head comes to show. Celestia is happy, happy that she could help the filly. But then Cadence jumps. My sister, my sister, we have to save my sister. Luna also wakens and the three ponies run into the bedroom and finds the little filly. They all four leaves the crystal empire cause in some time the curse takes effect and Sombra's curse does so all ponies forget all ponies but him. Celestia and Luna, not being fools, takes the necklace, the amulet, not knowing what it's supposed to do, they just throws it away or sell it. Now the question is about the spell book. Cadence know what it's supposed to do and therefore ask the sisters to turn the book into stone. The two sisters knowing where to hide it and turning it into stone, making it appear like it's the worst thing ever created. They put spikes on it and put it under the castle of the two sisters. Now they don't know anything. The Crystal Empire, not knowing about the curse, they leave the Crystal Empire, take Cadence and the Philly with them home, raise them as they were their own fillies. Cadence taking care of her sister and Celestia taking care of Cadence. Later as time passes, Celestia founds the dragon egg that Star's world have taken from the dragon queen. She reads a letter that Star's world have made with the egg. This is supposed to be for the queen, the new queen of the crystal empire, to do this. Celestia looks at Cadence and Cadence tries to open the egg, but nothing happens. Cadence is not strong enough or don't have that kind of magic. Being hopeful, she looks at the other little filly. She's a unicorn, you know, Luna says. If we raise her properly, she could be a magnificent magic user. Celestia nods and they teach her in the ways, in the ways of magic. For a long time Celestia has her as her prize student and one day she starts to ask Celestia the questions. Mom? Don't call me that, Celestia. Shakes her head from side to side. I am not your mother. <laughs>